Hello penguins. Today I'm in my garden and I'm looking for mini beasts. I'm going to have to be really slow and careful because I've just caught sight of a frog in my pond. See if you can see him. He's just peeping out from behind the log. All you can see are his eyes above the water. He's very well camouflaged. He's the colour brown. Oh, he's just gone back under the water. Frogs like to live in water, but they also like coming out on the stones. They like sitting in the sun and warming up. They sit very, very still and they watch very carefully. When a fly flies past, their tongue shoots out, they grab the fly and eat it. Clever frogs. Let's have a look for more mini beasts. In my garden, I have a nature area and in the winter I leave all of these stalks growing because it's a good place for the insects to lie down. When it's cold in the winter, the insects go to sleep in the stalks. Come with me. Butterflies go to sleep in ivy, so I always make sure there's thick ivy for the butterflies to go to sleep during the winter. In the spring, the butterflies come out and they lay eggs on leaves. Tiny, tiny little eggs. Then they grow into caterpillars and the caterpillars munch, munch, munch the leaves until they start to feel sleepy and they spin themselves a warm cocoon very slowly they wake up and become beautiful butterflies themselves this is my log pile I keep it here so that little hedgehogs and insects have somewhere to live. These red berries are very good for insects to eat. In the winter it's important to leave leaves on the ground. We're going to talk a bit about worms. Worms live in the ground. They need it to be warm and they eat dead leaves and they bring dead leaves. They also eat animal poo like horse poo, cow poo and they bring the good food back into the ground. I could even see a wormhole here. What other ones could we find? Let's have a look. Sometimes on this bush you can find ladybirds. I can't see any at the moment. Oh, I can. It's right here. Okay. Ladybirds are very good for gardeners. Gardeners and farmers love them because they eat lots of tiny aphids. Aphids are good insects but they eat too much. So ladybirds can eat up to 5,000 aphids in their lives. 
they're a good friend to have around the garden. Come and see my hedgehog house. Over here is where the hedgehogs sleep during the winter when it's really cold. It has a little roof and inside there's lots of straw. It has a little tunnel for the hedgehog to go in and out. The roof keeps the hedgehog nice and warm. There are lots of places for hedgehogs in my garden. Come with me. There's a gap in the fence. This is where the little hedgehogs come through. They run around on the grass searching for beetles and worms. If they find any caterpillars they would eat them too. But they're not interested in eating ladybirds. Can you go and have a look for some mini beasts? Good luck penguins and when you come back to school we'll go to forest school together and we'll all search for caterpillars, worms and ladybirds. Bye bye penguins.